In this video, we are going to see a very important topic and that is if you see any kind of error, which looks like this expression dot error, the key didn't match any rows in the table, especially when you are trying to combine all the Excel files into one using Power Query, you normally see an error like this. So we are going to see the right method in which you won't get error. Let me show you with an example of these three files I have within a particular folder and I want to combine the results of all into a single sheet and a single file. So I'll open up a new blank workbook and normally what we do is just go to the data and click on get data. And let's say that we want to combine this from a folder. I'll just go to from file from folder. And if I select the folder, click open, the data will look like this. And if we click on, let's say combine and load, you see only this parameter that is only one sheet of February. And let's say that if I select that and click OK to continue, you will notice that it will try to load it directly in the sheet and that way it will give you an error. So how we can resolve and what is the method of combining all the files into one? Let's see. I'll just close out of here. Open up a blank workbook again. Just go to the data, get data, go from file to from folder. And I'm again going to select this same folder. Click open. So let's say that we have multiple other files as well. What we need to do is even if you have only one type of extensions that is XLS or even if you want to filter the other files that is in the folder, you can easily do that. What I'll do is I'll click on transform data. First of all, I need to make sure that it doesn't load directly in Excel. It opens up the power query. Now, if you want to filter the other files, you can filter it easily based on extensions. You just select XLS and you are good to go. But since we only have one extension, we can continue with it. Now, if I select anything from the binary, as you can see on our first column, if I select any of these, it holds a complete file here. So it looks like if we just click on combine files, it will combine it simply, but it is going to give us an error. So let me just try this, click on expand. And as you can see, we again see this parameter. We, we only see the data of a single file like February. We don't see any January, February and March sales. So even if I select this and click OK, it is going to show us all the data regarding February. And when I scroll it towards bottom, where it should show and continue with the data, it is going to show us this error that we have seen earlier as well. The key didn't match any rows in the table. So let me just delete the steps again. And we are going to see it in our other example so that you can easily grasp this although we have seen this earlier as well. So we have applied steps of source and filtered rows. Just remove all of the other steps. So after that, what we'll do is since this binary code or this binary content holds the entire file, what I'll do is I'll just use these two columns in order to extract the further data using a formula and the rest of them, I don't want that. I'll just right click here, remove other columns. And now we only have these. Now let's add a new column. Just go to the add column and click on add a custom column and we can call it anything like combined data let's say and the custom formula that I will write here is since we want to combine all the excel workbooks excel dot workbook open the bracket make sure that you select the content only from the available cells and you don't need to write this because it is going to uh, select some square brackets as well so it's better to just directly double click here so that it will load up in the formula and just close the round bracket at the end. And make sure there is no enter pressed. Uh, you need to have the cursor at the end, click OK. And now we have all the combined data as tables. You can also rename it as tables if you want to because the main name of the content is also tables. So let me just rename it as table. So now if I click on any of the tables, we have only one kind that is sheet. So what I'll do is I'll expand that. But for example, since we have already extracted the tables, I don't need this content. I'll just remove this, remove this. And now we only have name and the table. Now, if I click on expand, I don't want to use the original column as a prefix. What it, this will do is at the end of each table data, it will again put the headings related to the next sheet. I don't want that. I just want to use a common column headings at the starting and nothing else. So I'll just remove that. 
uncheck this click ok now if you only see one type that is sheet or tables whatever you can keep it otherwise you need to filter it via tables or sheets whatever you want here we have not formatted all the sheets as tables so that's why we only see sheets here but if let's say the data is formatted as a table you will see the table format as well so now the data is filtered i just want the names and the data column that's it and right click and remove other columns now i have the sheet names right here and that's very important to identify where the next data is starting from otherwise you will be confused so it's better to keep the sheet names in the starting and then later on you can delete that as well and now let's expand this and again i can select all of these columns i can just keep it selected and use original column as a prefix i don't want to use that click ok and now you can see the data is easily combined for february for january and for march it's arranged in the alphabetical sequence so f come first then j then m now whatever we need to do is let's say that i want to change this rename this to months and it's in abc format and one two three is also mentioned that means it is in any format if you want to make it only one format what we'll do is just go to the transform by selecting the column the data type as you can see is set to any that means it will not restrict the data even if any number is mentioned or any text is mentioned so i want to keep this to text only now you only see that it's a b c d now the problem with this is since you can see that all of these column headers are mentioned as column one column two column three and we have headings right below it so what we need to do is just select the entire table or use this first headings rows and click on this use first row as headers click on it and you will notice that it will automatically shift to headings now again the date format is not properly selected here so what i will do is i'll just keep it as it is for now i'll keep it to any because if i transform this to date it might not show some of the data so that's why i want to keep all kind of data here so let's uncheck this change type and it is back to any similarly for the price per unit we know that the dollar is placed manually and that's why it won't be able to work sales it put manually so again it won't be able to work so what i can do is after that i'll just go to the home tab and click on close and load and now you see the query is resolved and we don't see any kind of error the only problem is we still get the headers repeated and that can be deleted manually as well but like i said i didn't format it because whenever i click on any particular cell you see that the dollar is included within the column so this will be treated as a text and even if we try to sum all of these figures it won't be able to sum this we try to sum this hit enter and it will show us zero why because we need to remove this dollars which is mentioned as a text control f replace i'll just remove the dollars replace it with nothing replace all and now if i want to format it as dollar we need to go to the home tab and from here we select any kind of currency whether it's dollars rupees whatever i can click on format cells further and from the currency i'll just choose dollars united states dollars that's it now it has dollars but within the figures it doesn't have that so it can easily show the totals now same thing goes here we need to remove this dollars manually and the date format should be done like this now if you want to correct the date format into a po proper format what we need to do is first of all it creates a lot of confusion that uh, we have the month first then the date and then the year so from the window settings i'll just right click and adjust date and time i'm using it for windows 11 just right click on the corner adjust date and time and click on additional clocks then we click on date and time again change date and time change calendar settings from here click on additional settings and from here just select date it's very simple just we have to click on change change and change dd dash mm dash yy i'll just change it to this format click ok apply and ok ok and ok now you will notice that for some of the cells it is changed but for the other ones it's not changed so we can use the flash fill option to do that so for example 
this first one is for February. But as you can see, even if we corrected the date, it is showing us the wrong format. So instead of what we will do is we will write the correct format 0, 01, 0, 02, and then 24. Here again, 0, 02, then again, 0, 02, dash 0, 02, 24. Then again, it's third February. So now the date first, then month, and then year. So what we need to do is just select all of this pattern, double click to send it down. And from this autofill options, we'll use flash fill. So it will correct the sequence. Similarly for February, again, this is February. So I'll just have to mention it again. It's 13 February 24, and it will correct it further. Then we have January all corrected. Make sure it is shown as month of January. And then we have March. It says 13th March here, as you can see. So I'll just change it to 13 March and it will correct automatically. Let me just see again. All of this is February until the end and it's February here as well. And now January has started. So make sure all of this is shown as January. Just notice the second one where the month is shown. Up till here, it's January and then comes March. So all corrected. Now we can format this as date if we want to and no problem will be shown here. January, February, March properly identified in 2024. And in the order date, if we check, we will see the data like this. It's very scattered. It's not clean. So that's how you can clean this up as well. So we can delete this and we can change this to order date. Now let's say that if I want to place it after contact and I want the other data to shift, what I'll do is I'll just hold the shift key and then hold this column from the corner. Make sure you see this four arrows that's for moving. Hold the shift key and scroll it towards the left wherever you want to drop it and just keep holding the shift key and then release. You will see that the data is placed here and the other data will automatically shift towards right. So that's how basically you can combine all of the sheets in Excel along with the data cleaning. Just try this by yourself and I'll see you in the next one.